Hello. I'd like to give you some feedback about Chapter 10's activities. First, I was really surprised at the number of classmates and colleagues that actually gone through a merger or acquisition. I hadn't expected that. And I was thinking about cutting this chapter out for future courses, but it seems like I haven't been tapping into the talent and knowledge in the classroom. I'd like to focus, therefore, this on the issue of branding. Two of you all picked this and created images. Basically, for external branding, you want to think about the communication between employees and the employer. So the internal communication tools of email, e-newsletters, brown bag lunches, meet and greets. Secondly, how the employer actually behaves toward employees. Do they think that they need to be controlled? Do they think that they are creative and innovative and can be let go? You know, the old kinds of how do you manage people theories. And thirdly, how the employees feel about the company. Now, employees feel about the company for many reasons. Salary, benefit packages, yes. But the everyday work environment, the culture of the business, creates an employee's feelings. Now, what they do is they take all of that, and let's say you drop it down into a funnel and it pops out at the brand, the external branding image of those three items. How you treat employees, the employer, employee's perception of the business, and how communication takes place with the employees. There's another way to think of branding, and that is to Think about the need for impact in communication. You want it prioritized. You want the low-hanging fruit first before you reach the more difficult areas of communication. Secondly, you have to think about the need for involvement. How do you involve people? I can give you the example right now at Fort Hayes State University. As we go forward under President Myrta Martin's revisions and, revi and reorganization of the, of the university. It's through focus groups all over campus on specific subjects. It's bringing together people to share their opinions. So as many stakeholders as want to be involved can be involved. And that's a very positive approach to involving. You need to have High payback. If you invest so much time in communication, you want a payback. You want a positive view of your brand, both externally. And you need to affect behavior. People have to like your brand and buy it, for example. Now, that's all corporate branding of external images. But there's another type of branding I'd like you to think about, and that's your personal brand, my personal brand. And to put it as simple as I can think of is, your and my personal brand is what people say when you leave the room. So I hope that these few comments about external branding based on your comments and a little food for thought about personal branding have given you some insights.